What's up, everybody? This is Steve Serlachi, and today we are looking at the Bacchus Dynamic Drive from Acoustic Control, now releasing a line of pedals under the brand name Gamma. Um, acoustic Control has been around forever, making different acoustic amps and all sorts of great gear. This is their first dip into the pedal world, and we are going to be checking out the new Bacchus Drive. So the pedals go with a Roman theme, and Bacchus was the Roman god of agriculture, wine, fertility, and he was said to be the last god to join the 12 Olympians. So you know, it's got to be good. Taking a look at it, we have drive level and tone, really basic controls, we have a fat and a normal switch. How could you beat that? It's just a very simple, straight ahead, straightforward overdrive pedal. So let's get right into the tones here. This is my bypass tone. Right now I'm going through my 63 Fender Bassman back here. I'm going through my Two Notes Torpedo Captor X, and I'm using their brand new Creamback Celestian 212 closed back uh, cabinet with a little bit of reverb, and I'm just taking that direct in. No processing done to the sound whatsoever. So here is my bypassed clean-ish sound. And this is my Inspired by Gibson Epiphone 335. Just perfect matchup for this setup. Really love the way this guitar sounds. That was the middle position. Here's the bridge pickup. This is gonna be a little broken up. This is where I like my clean tones just in that little bit of a breakup sound. And then we have the neck pickup. And same thing, I could back off the volume or lighten up my touch. Now let's kick in the Bacchus. So here's all knobs at noon. Drive sound. All knobs at noon. Don't even need to touch anything. We're good. End of demo. We'll see you in the next video. All right, let's test out the range of gain here. Let's drop the gain all the way down here. I mean, that's awesome at low gain. You hear it compared to the bypass, it's pretty close to sounding like the bypass. Let's go to, what is that, 11-ish, 1030-ish? going with that gain. Let's ride it up to 230-ish. See if that'll clean up if we dial back the volume. I mean, that's really nice. Pretty amp-like to me. Keep the gain going. Let's go about three quarters here on that gain.
now that we're getting into some like lead territory with the gain all the way up, it sounded pretty good. We haven't even touched the fat switch. Um, it could be the 335 being fat, I don't know, but this is a pretty fat sound. That sounds huge. <laughs> Now max out the gain here. See what we're really working with. This is an inspiring sound. Um, I'm having a great time playing this. It feels really great and it sounds really great. Uh, what else is there to do? I mean, damn, that's awesome. Let's roll down the volume knob, um, maxed out gain and see what we get. back to reality a little bit. Let's see where the tone knob takes us. Drop it all the way down, see how dark we can get. Let's really hash it up. This is a tone knob all the way up. I mean, really nice usable tone knob. What I really like about this tone knob is that it doesn't have a wide range and I actually don't want a wide range of treble when it comes to my overdrives. I like that it has a subtle range that you could really dial in something specific. It's not like one of those that's like, ooh, let's go super dark and then let's go, ooh, super bright. This is like a usable range throughout the entire sweep, which I think is way more useful than something that's, um, that's not that way. You know what I mean. So yeah, let's switch over to a telly. This is my 68 telly, by the way. So we're gonna get a little bit less reaction and a little bit more just, I'm gonna be playing and messing around. We're gonna see if we even need the fat switch. <laughs> Thank you. 
I hear much of a that much of a uh, low frequency shift. Maybe I'll hear it more in post, but that's what that low and uh, that fat and normal switch does. I just want to keep playing this thing. So that's it for this. I mean, that's the Bacchus Overdrive. Um, it's a really nice low gain option. It can get pretty mean into a distorted territory if you want it to, but for the most part, it's a pretty natural sounding overdrive. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to thank Gamma for sponsoring the video, sending this out to me so that I can show you what it sounds like. And if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.